Hi everybody, welcome to another episode with The Anxious Resistance. We're back and we're here to talk more about some mental health topics. Today we're gonna be talking about trazodone. Trazodone, the medication, is actually an old antidepressant, but it's used most commonly these days for insomnia. It's used as a sleep aid. So I'm here to talk about my experience taking trazodone. I started trazodone the summer of 2011 and I was on it uh, pretty much until 2018. So I was on it for a solid seven years there. I started taking it when I was having some serious anxiety and, and I was basically in a constant state of panic. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, and this went on for several months, but the trazodone at least uh, would help me sleep, and I started on 100 milligrams of trazodone, and really, I was 17 at the time when I started taking it, and it would, it would put me out. I would finally be able to sleep after I would take the trazodone. During those years of being on the trazodone, I ended up having to up my dose two different times. So that happened twice over the seven years. So I went, I was on 100 milligrams, and at one point I went up to 150. And then towards the end there, I was taking 200 some nights when I wasn't you know, when I was anxious and thought I was going to have a bad night. One of the reasons that trazodone is often prescribed is because it's not addictive. It's not a controlled substance like your, your diazepams are and your Xanax and your Ativan and um, even your, your more typical sleep aids like your Ambien's and your Lunesta's. They create a tolerance so that you end up having a very hard time withdrawing from them when you take it for long amounts of time. Now this isn't to say Say that they're as bad as something you know like morphine or an opiate or something like that they're not they're definitely further down on the list than those but it's something that that prescribers tend to avoid which is a it is a good thing my experience using trazodone is that it it would it would really help me sleep you know after a few years of being on it uh the seven i ended up feeling like okay maybe i don't need this anymore i felt like i was sleeping okay i was getting a good night's rest i thought maybe it's time to kind of cut this back and and wean myself off of it and so the doctor had me you know start taking half of a dose and then half of a half and then stopped taking it completely and this was over the course of a few weeks. Now this was in the spring of 2018 and I started to really not feel good after a couple of weeks. I started having this kind of rebound uh, insomnia where I was having trouble falling asleep. My mind would just go and go and go at night again and this is because my body is so used to taking that trazodone. Where it's not an addictive substance, your body still eventually becomes somewhat dependent on it. So these these weeks were really a struggle. But after the first few weeks of me kind of weaning off of it, I started to get really depressed. And like I mentioned before, trazodone works as an antidepressant. Sometimes when you're you're going off of an antidepressant, you can have that rebound depression. And that's what I ended up having. And it was really a struggle for me for a few weeks. You know, it ended up being about a six week experience of me getting off of the trazodone and then switching to over the counter medications to help me sleep on nights. I thought I, I would need it. I would take uh, Benadryl or I would take some melatonin and that's what I've been doing since and that's enough to help me sleep. Uh, the trazodone, really I thought that withdrawal coming off of it was worse than I expected. It was likely because I had been on the medication for such a long time, seven years is, is quite a good while. And, and there have been times since then that I have felt like, oh, I might have a really bad night. I've got a few trazodones left. You know, the doctor's fine if I if I take one on occasion if I feel like I need it. But then it just it wipes me out for, you know, two, three days after I take it now because, you know, my body is just not used to that. Um, you know, either I need just a really low dose, but at that point it might not even help me sleep. Anyway, that's my experience with trazodone and it's a good medication, it's a safe medication. Uh, for the most part, you still can end up with those side effects where you do have that suicidal ideation and you do have a worsening of depression, although I think it is probably more rare in trazodone than I think other medications like SSRIs are with that. But anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for listening to my experience with this. If you have any questions about trazodone medication, go ahead and, and comment them down below and I'll answer as many of them as I can. Thanks for watching a video with the Anxious Resistance. We're here to spread all kinds of information about mental health 
and talk about real life experiences, talk about maybe some things that are a little off the beaten path that really might be able to help you. Thanks so much for watching. This is the Anxious Resistance.